I think it's really important to understand that a lot of countries that are dealing with massive youth unemployment, poverty issues, desperation of people are going to produce unsocial behavior. And that's what we've seen in Pakistan. We have a vast amount of youth who are talented and skilled, but are doing nothing. They're unemployed, they're not contributing to their families or their communities. We're seeing lots of opportunities in Pakistan for investments that aren't happening because of that social framework. So I want to give a call to Pakistan and I want to say you're worth investing in, your youth are worth investing in, but let's focus away from defense, away from the nuclear technologies and, and let's embrace that green revolution. Let's, let's put all the youth to work doing youth micro-enterprises. Let's empower the poor to be part of the solution instead of part of the problem. And if we can shift to a new and positive green economy, we can attract the investment, we can attract the jobs, we can attract the businesses. And that is going to be a much happier and healthier country for people to want to live in and to work in and to bring up their families. So, like Senator Clinton, I'm 100% behind investing in the community groups in Pakistan where the resourcefulness, where the dignity and all those resources can be empowered. Plan from the top down and invest from the bottom up. That's what I do as a social investor and that's what I'm recommending that Pakistan does so that they can join the Green Revolution and they can enjoy prosperity for all.